Okay, so we looked at a number of interesting concepts and tools that have really got you thinking about your personal brand online. So now here's the opportunity to try and focus on the things that are really good or not so good and think about the way that you're going to be managing these. So this is where we might have uh, come across something that's called the SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats are commonly used in business uh, uh, thinking or in business management. But we are applying the same concept to your personal brand online. So we have done keyword research that has given you the opportunity to identify the things that the buyer personas are looking for. We have thought about your business objective or the things that you really want to achieve with your uh, job. So now here is your time to reflect about the things that you think are really good at your personal brand. And we are thinking about your personal branding online process, not necessarily the skills that you have. Whereas the two levels of analysis can be done with using the same tool. So let's first of all think about the things that you've done already. Have you got an online presence? Do you have a LinkedIn profile? So if you have got some history on your blogs or things that you have done in the past, this could be your perfect example of a strength. If you have built up some references and recommendations from your previous employers or places where you have worked that are showing some of the key attributes that you've identified in your keyword research, that's another perfect strength that you can really sort of harness in your communications. However, the opposite of this is also true. In the keyword research, you will have identified certain areas that your buyer personas are interested in, but you realize that your current online presence might not be even in existence, and obviously that could be a weakness of what people might be uh, seeing when they're thinking about your personal brand online. So, try and think about it critically, because ultimately the next stages will be to improve those things, and be honest with yourself. If you don't uh, obviously be honest with you in, in this context, you will have difficulties getting the most or harnessing the biggest of your personal brand online. So we talked about the strengths, weaknesses. Now think about the opportunities. We have looked at a number of your influencers. When we did keyword research, you thought about how the successful people in your industries communicate, what it is that they do. So what we're trying to do here in your opportunities is try and think about the, some of the practices that you're not currently doing, but you can develop and you can do. If you found that some of your influencers or people who are really good in this area are using Twitter as a network on a regular basis or they're engaging with certain networks, why not join those? Why not behave as if you're already in that industry? Show your passion, show your employee engagement potential that you are going to be going beyond the core things that you need to do in your job. And you're not thinking about your job as just something that you will be earning money or earning your living, but it is something that you're going to have fun and you will be able to enjoy yourself. So the last but not least is the threats. Threats will be giving you an option to think about the things that you might not be able to do. So for example, if you think, well, I can't be interested in uh, creating a LinkedIn profile and I don't really want to do any personal branding. So the only profile that you might have is a Facebook account, which is uh, publicly open. And the only thing you talk about there is how great your weekends are with your mates, which is great. Obviously, you have a social life and that's uh, really uh, sort of uh, quite acceptable. But the one thing that you are not communicating or potentially not showing is that you are really potentially interested in a certain area in terms of your career. So as part of your threat management, uh, potentially you might want to think about locking down those profiles and uh, at least you will be uh, uh, reducing the number of messages that your potential employers or business partners will see about your private life or the things that aren't necessarily adding to the general uh, worldview about yourself. Last process is to apply the same SWOT analysis to your actual skills and attributes. So if you think about the first one as being purely as a marketing communication, you've looked about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats about the messages that you're sending. The next stage is to apply the same SWOT analysis to yourself as somebody who is a potential employee in a particular area. So you can think about yourself, whether you have the strength in a particular subject area, weaknesses in that area, potential threats, and potential uh, things that you might be able to develop in terms of opportunities. 
So this SWOT analysis is applied in personal branding online from two perspectives. One on your actual presence and two on the actual content as your career uh, perspective. And this really gives you a really good opportunity to think about the things that you might want to do in the next stage of this course.